If you want to get the link for the script, it's under the video, but in this video I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's get it. So this is what it's going to look like on Gumroad. And then when you get it, freestyle real-time refresh, just download it. Then go to edit, preferences, install, and then install the mod. Just press N on your keyboard and you should see something called freestyle. Then it's going to say start refresh. I'm going to take the editor type and change this editor type to compositor and move this to the right and put on backdrop, use nodes and do shift A and get a viewer node, plug image into image viewer. And now if you press start refresh, it's going to refresh the scene. So if you press V or if you want to zoom in, press alt V and you can zoom in, press V to zoom out. And if I go to workbench, black color, single, just make it white can refresh and now if I just add colors by pressing cartoon I can select these nodes and press H to hide them and move them away so now if I move the camera with this enabled so it should stay stop refresh means it's enabled it's working so if I press sketch and if I adjust the thickness of line put down alpha put up Bezier curve and now I can just scale this and you can see how freestyle preview is working right now and same thing if I scale it this way and if I go to edit mode and make some edits and without me having to render every time I just have it on and I can already see what's happening and let's see I don't like this line so I can just put down the thickness there we go real-time preview make it technical and then switch color to something else this color I like it better and then you can also see if lines are overlapping so if I put this object inside you can see oh, oh I don't like this so if I zoom in pressing alt B so I can move it out, there we go. You can also do this with characters. So if I add the monkey head, and I can add the sketch, which is gonna give me dashed lines, and that's what it looks like. So if I just stop refresh, press F12 to render the scene, and that's what I see. 